Hi, today I'm going to show how to coat collodion chloride printing out paper. First thing to do is to fold up the edges of the paper. So we're going to use a little guide for this, a little cardboard guide. Do all of the edges evenly, and the guide makes it a little bit easier than trying to do it by hand. You can use a ruler for this, but since I have this piece of cardboard, it works nicely. Once you have the edges folded up, you want to crimp the corners, so just kind of bend the corners in so that you end up making a, a shallow tray. These become barriers to prevent the collodion from flowing off the edges of the paper. Right. Make sure that they stand up straight enough. Okay, now we temporarily support the paper with a piece of cardboard. So I'm going to take some masking tape and just put little tabs of masking tape to hold the paper. And I only really need three of these. Make sure that the corner from which you're going to pour the excess collodion sticks out from the cardboard a little bit. I don't tack them down too hard because I do want to take the paper off of here eventually. And there we go. Here's the paper ready to coat. And now, this is the collodion chloride emulsion. It contains collodion, silver nitrate, and strontium chloride. An port very similar to coating a collodion plate. Pour it in the center. Notice the color. It has both the silver and the halide combined. Go to all four corners. It's very, very easy. Compared to coating a glass plate, this is, this is child's play. And then I'm going to pour the excess back into the bottle. And as I drain the paper, I'm going to rock it. You don't need to rock it a lot. Just at right angles, very slowly. And that will help prevent crepe lines. Very much the same sort of uh, artifact you'd get with coating a tin type or a glass plate. So that is coated enough, and there will still be some collodion that will drip from that corner. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep pulling that off. Your fingers won't stain with this because the silver is bound up. It's very easy to clean off with alcohol. You don't really need rubber gloves. When I get to the point where it's no longer moving, then all I do is take off the tape And there is the coated paper, and it's ready to hang the dry, and it'll dry in about 10 minutes. 